What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today we're gonna go over how to set up your DB10 monoblock amplifier. So as you can see, it comes with the amplifier itself, a remote knob that connects right to the amp, a high level input wire harness, some Allen keys to connect the wires into the amplifier and everything you need to mount the amplifier into your vehicle. Now here we have a subwoofer that's loaded with a K5 8 inch sub and a single vented enclosure. And you can actually get these things together in the SK58 package that also comes with the hardware and everything else you need to install it into your vehicle. For today, we're just gonna go over all the functionalities of the amplifier, but if you need help installing it into your vehicle along with your sub, check out all the videos we have available on that. So if we take a look at the amplifier, we have one side to connect to the battery of your vehicle and to connect the subwoofer itself. And then on the other side, we have the inputs for our head unit along with the controls for the amplifier. So looking at this side here first, we have the terminals to connect to the battery of our vehicle. So we have the 12 volt terminal that runs to the positive 12 volt of your battery. We have the remote terminal that runs to the ignition or accessory switch of your vehicle. And then we have the ground terminal that can run to the metal chassis of your vehicle. Next to that we have the positive and negative terminals that we can use to connect the sub itself. To connect the speaker wire into the amplifier you're just going to take your small allen key here. You're just going to use one end of the allen key to loosen up these terminals. Then you're going to plug the positive and negative ends into the positive and negative terminals. Then connect the other ends into your subwoofer. Just be sure to match the speaker wire to the positive and negative terminals on both your amplifier and your sub. So now if we take a look at the other side of the amplifier, you'll see we have the power and protect light. The power light will tell us when the amplifier is powered and the protect light will come on in case there's anything we need to fix with our install or if there's too much input coming into the amp. We also got the base remote knob input to connect our base remote knob here. This way we can control the volume coming out of our subwoofer from the front of our vehicle instead of having to go back wherever our amplifier is installed to make the changes. We also got the RCA line inputs to connect our head unit that has RCA outputs. But in case your head unit doesn't have RCA outputs, we also include the high level input wire to connect your head unit to the amp. So to set that up, you're just gonna take this end of your wire harness and connect it to the amp. Then you're gonna connect the high level output wires from your head unit to the high level input wires on the harness. So now let's go over the controls for the amplifier. So next to the power light, we have the low pass filter, which will set the low frequencies coming out of the sub. For example, if I set this to 100 Hertz, everything from 100 Hertz and below will come out of the sub and nothing above 100 Hertz will come out. Next to that, we have the bass equalizer, which acts as an additional bass boost. So if we want some extra low end, we can raise this anywhere from zero to 12 dB. Next, we have the phase knob where we can flip the phase anywhere from zero to 180 degrees. You basically just want to use this in case your subwoofer is out of sync with the rest of your setup. So if you're listening to music and the subwoofer sounds off from the rest of the speakers in your setup, you can use this phase knob to fix that. Next we have the subsonic high pass filter to set how much high end comes out of the sub. So for example, if I set this to 30 hertz, everything from 30 hertz and below will come out of the sub and nothing above. So we can use the subsonic high pass filter and the low pass filter as the crossover to set the frequency range for the sub. And if you need help setting the crossover for your amplifier, check out the video we have on that. Lastly, we have the input level knob to set the level for our subwoofer. And we also have a video you can check out on how to set up the gain for your amplifier. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your DB10 amplifier. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.